interest from the public in academic freedom, freedom of expression, and social movements is exemplified by the attention garnered from the suspension of ASU students. Um, I mean, I'm a little disappointed. Um, I, um, I, <laughs> I'm being restricted from a lot of things right now um, that I that I didn't expect to be um, for for standing up for something that I believe in. Um, and, um, you know, I have I have family coming in who I have to let them know, to, you know, not come to my graduation ceremonies. Um, I I am glad that there is um, a guarantee that my courses will be taken care of. So I don't have to worry necessarily about um, about um, my graduation requirements and um, the fact that I. I, I will earn my degree as I as I have spent the past four years doing, um, but I, I I'm just disappointed. Um, I mean I'm a 2020 high school grad, so I wasn't able to walk then, <laughs> and so um, you know, here it is. I'm not able to walk now. Knowing you know what you know now, would you know like you said you were standing up for a cause. Would you do it again? I mean. Yeah, I would. I was I was doing what I believed was right and I still believe it to be right. I would I would stand up for the cause again even if it means something negative to me because <laughs> like the cause is um so much harm has been done to to all of those people um already. I I am safe. I am I am fine. I might not graduate and that might harm future job prospects and stuff like that, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not like in physical danger. I'm not I'm not constantly worried about um being hurt or being forced from my home or anything like that. I would absolutely um stand up again and protest again. The decision of a student to engage in activism despite the risk of personal repercussions, fuels a broad societal discourse concerning the equilibrium between individual liberties and institutional regulations. It underscores the significance of adhering to institutional norms and the ensuing ramifications for one's actions. Viewing the suspension of the student through the lens of prioritizing activism over compliance with university policies highlights the maturity of decision-making processes. Nonetheless, while acknowledging individual agency, students should have contemplated the potential fallout of their involvement in protest activities. The emotional aftermath of a student's suspension is fraught with disappointment and uncertainty about the future. Additionally, it's imperative to delve into the psychological drivers compelling individuals to partake in social activism, notwithstanding their identity, sense of belonging, and the inherent risks or repercussions within the activist community. The gravity of decisions made in adulthood cannot be overstated, as a single misstep can alter the trajectory of one's life.